Hey guys, back again. So, we already have this, and okay, this is already done. So, um, before we continue, let's just add inside the index CSS the styles that we're going to use. So, let me just start adding this. So, let's go. Okay, didn't click that. Okay. So we remove all this and we say import. I'm using the Lato from Google Fonts. Let me just go there. Google Fonts. And here you can get any font that you uh, want. Okay, and just go to import and copy this and place it inside your CSS. I'm using CSS here. HTML. We're going to set the HTML to be this color kind of white whitish, sorry. And can you just, just well not kind of white, it's kind of bluish. And we're going to set the body. So we're going to set the margin and padding to zero, the font family Lato and sans serif. We're going to set the anti alize and the smoothing to be grayscale. The overflow is going to be hidden, okay? Because um, we are going to move this and we want to hide the rest of that so it doesn't push uh, as we are um, seeing here, okay, with this scroll bar. The padding bottom is going to be 320 pixels and we are going to use the group 3 SVG as the background. We are going to place that to be in the bottom and no repeat. So let's save this. And you can see this is how we have our um, background. Okay. Those shapes there. We're going to set now the body to be a, to have this transition, everything inside the body to have this transition. The container. And we're going to add all the things that we need for the navigation just to set this uh, right away. Um, navigation, you can copy this, the uh, display flex. To set everything, the navul, navul list A, the ul list, and the first of type list, so you can see how this looks. Wait, it's not. Wait, that. Okay. From there, we move to the header. We just grab everything we need. Uh, for the header, you can just um, post the video and just copy this. So header, header div, header div h1, header div p, header image, which is this image we can see there, and header div anchor. We just save this, and this is how this looks. Okay, we still need uh, a few things to. Uh, do let's just copy the rest the header div a newsletter input the div a hover and newsletter input hover the main padding top 100 pixels the h2 and the h3 let's just save this and take a look okay Now let's go with the services. Okay, copy that and paste it. So services, service container, services card, and service description. And you can see how this looks. It seems I forgot one of those. Let me just go to main service. Okay, it's services, 
card. I miss an S there, and you can see that this gives the uh, correct height to the body. This is not working because, um, as I explained in other videos, I have another monitor on which um, that is bigger, and this style works for that monitor. So the first style I do is always for that monitor. And then I move it here and just start uh, changing things. So let's just add the background images for you to see how this works. So view um, more wrap the background, background URL. Okay, these are uh, from Unsplash. You can go to Splash and check all those images, and you can see that this is, you know, pretty straightforward. Just adding the styles, and we're almost there. Let me grab the newsletter, copy this. So this is a newsletter, okay? Newsletter, newsletter, everything, newsletter, input email, and submit. Just, and you can see how this looks, okay? Since we have kind of validation, it's not going to work if we click that. And one more thing is uh, the things. So we will add later the rest of the styles. So if we do the, okay, let's just type it. Okay, just to have this uh, set up correctly. And the media queries are kinda long. So if you want to skip this part, okay, you can skip it. Of course I will add, although we're kinda at the end of this. So let's just add the media query, the first media query, the second media query, just copy those. If you want to go more in depth with this, just let me know so I can add a tutorial about the media queries. Let's grab the third media query. And of course, this is not um, the most optimized way in order to set the stylings. We will see uh, the mobile approach, which is going to be better than this. Okay. So right now, uh, you can see that we already fixed those with the media queries. And I'm still missing one, it seems. So let me just grab the last media query, which is for the 950. And you can just, um, so let me just, this is because I was using some paths, but I'm not using those. So this is the media query, okay, you can just and post the video and copy that. This is the other media query. This is the other media query. And this is the other one. So save that and everything should work and have the correct style. So we still don't have this. So let's actually work with this. After all that styling, you can see that this is not looking fine because this is still up here. And Let's close this, let's close the app.js, let's close the route since we have most of the things already done, the tanks, and we're going to finish with the contact. So we're going to do the same that we did before. We're going to, we're using actually use state here. We already have that imported. We're going to use a, the use history hook and we're going to actually say constant history equals use history and constant get back or go back sorry e what the hell equals to um, this function history that push remember that we can access everything now from that constant using the hook now, I'm going to set 
three things, so this is not going to be that bad. Uh, the title, content, and contact email. So let me just remove this, and I'm going to place a button first, which is the class name back. When we click this, we're going to say, or we're going to run the go back function, which is this one on line seven. And um, we just add a left arrow, a left arrow and the go back text. So I'm going to paste now the form. All this, uh, you should already know how to do it, okay? If you are a newbie and you don't know what the hell is going on, go check the other uh, tutorials. And there we do everything from scratch, okay? We place everything. So what we're going to do here, or what we're doing here, is just on change setting the value of uh, the correct instance inside the state that matches Okay, what we are setting, for example, this set content email, set content, and set title, and setting the input um, um, actual values to that. So you can see that these are the functions that we are using. Okay, again, if you're a newbie and you don't know much about um, hooks, go check the other videos and then come back here because this is um, only for the new react router hooks that this is coming from another package okay so you will see that when we submit we're going to uh, use this send email so we just uh, need to add this this one is actually an async function and we pass the event because we don't want to refresh using event prevent default. And console log. The sending email. So this is actually it. Let's just check it out. And let's open this. And you can see we have this button. If we uh, click go back, okay, it's actually not working. Okay, so let me just go here and get in touch. Go back. Okay, what the hell? Okay, I said history push. Sorry, this is not it. I meant to say history go back. Okay, we have also a go forward. So sorry about that. I was like, what the hell? So this is going to go back. Okay, if we click here and go back to contact me, this should take us back. If we do this, of course, it's going to take us back too. So that is how it's going to work. Okay. So, um, we only need now the styles for this and I actually thought that this was going to be um, more so just let me check if you are not missing anything uh, I don't think so okay well you can set oh, let me just um, set this as okay let's say a uh, let uh, email or whatever title content and contact email we're going to use the same naming so we actually send an email and let's say email and let's see how this looks Okay, so let's say new post, whatever, blah, 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 and this is the email. Send message, and you can see we receive everything. So I have a tutorial about how to send emails using a note and MailJet. Okay, so MailJet is a service for uh, sending email campaigns. Okay, 
And now um, you can just check that and just uh, see how to implement it. And that's the only thing. Okay, that's why I added this if you wanted to, because you will need to send information. So let's just keep that thing there. And finally, we're just going to add the contact. Um, let me just say, Control F, contact. I'm just going to add the stylings for this. Let me just copy that and uh, maybe uh, here below everything else, contact everything. Okay, seems I'm missing one. Okay, so this should be that contact, uh, contact everything, contact input, text area, contact input, type submit, and that should be it. So let's just Go back and you can see we have this. We need also the go back. Let me just check that. Go back. Um, okay, so I think it's back. Uh, just give me a second. I'm trying to find that. It's just one simple. Okay. Well, not that simple, but let me just copy that and add it maybe below here. So we have this back that is a background known padding and we have the color and all that. You can copy that and okay, it should be already refreshed. So contact me and you can see we have this uh, go back now. So, yeah, and all this should be, since we have the media queries, as I showed before, this should be kind of responsive. You can add and style um, everything differently if you want, of course. And the only thing is that you will need to resize this, the, and maybe to change this, but as I said, um, this is not um, a big or what you could do since we already have the getting touch you can just uh, remove this one okay because around 320 is where you should be checking or you could just leave it there or remove the um, paddings that we have there and yeah, that's it, since it's pretty simple. So you will just have to do that. And that's it. So it's only 18 minutes, okay. So that's it. We have this landing page um, a style already set. Most things are working and you can see that the new React router is nothing that hard. It changes a few things, but with this working example, I hope that you understood better how to actually implement this in a working application instead of only checking the documentation or only adding the routes in a, um, you know, in a simple page and actually setting the routes the way you are going to do when you are working inside a project. So that's it and again guys uh, if you like this video like it subscribe it and see you in the next one.